Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing our Thanksgiving grocery hauls and a peek at our menu. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 11 and 14. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So, Thanksgiving is a few days away and I did not plan or prep anything in advance. So now I'm rushing at the last minute to get it done. But I thought that I would go ahead and share kind of like a Thanksgiving grocery haul with you all. So this is from two different stores and I still have another store that I'll be sharing with you in just a moment. But this small section is from Safeway and then this is from Walmart. But let's start over here because I only got a few things from Safeway. So I went looking for a spiral ham and they did not have any in store. So I just picked up this classic ham. Now, when I go to Sprouts in just a few moments, um, if they have a spiral ham, I will pick that up and freeze this one to use later. This one was on sale, really good price, less than $10. So it'll definitely, you know, work if I need to, if I'm in a pinch. Um, but I do like to serve ham and turkey on Thanksgiving. And then here is our turkey. This year I purchased a 23 pound turkey for Thanksgiving dinner. And the best part is there's only gonna be seven of us here. So we're gonna have a lot of leftovers. I picked up some foil. Oh, I am like kicking myself. This foil was really expensive at Safeway and I was completely out of foil, but I forgot to pick up foil the last time I went to Costco. So now I'm just like, it's my own fault. I paid an arm and a leg for this guy right here. And then this, this isn't for Thanksgiving, but I did purchase it at the same time I purchased these guys. Um, so I just thought I'd add them in, but I picked up two packs of these, um, what are these called? These are pork loin back ribs. We love to, well, I shouldn't say we, my husband likes to make these in our instant pot. He makes really great ribs. Um, so I did pick up a couple because they were on sale while I was there. So now let's move over to Walmart. I will add the total for everything and each individual store at the end for you. So from Walmart, I picked up a pack of these beef little smokies. This is something that we do every year for like a little appetizer before we eat. And then I picked up two packs of bacon. I don't know if I'll need both packs, but I got them just in case. I always try and buy a little extra in case I mess something up <laughs> or if I'm not sure if I'll have enough. I always buy a little extra. We got some shredded mild cheese. What did I say that weird? Shredded mild cheddar cheese. There we go. And then I got two boxes of this um, short salad macaroni for macaroni salad. Now this is something that we've never tried before, but we do always like to have fruit pies for Thanksgiving as well. And I'm not a great fruit pie maker. I'll make the pumpkin pie and the pecan pie, um, but I have not mastered cherry pie. So I picked up this Marie Callender's um, like already prepared cherry crunch pie. It looked really good. Never had it. Let me know if you've had this before, if it's any good. It kind of reminds me of like a apple pie, like Dutch apple pie or something. It just looked really, really good. I picked up a box of instant vanilla pudding. This is to make the creamy pumpkin pie that I make every year. Some whipped topping, two of those just in case. I bought a whole bunch of marshmallows. Um, I could not remember how many marshmallows I needed, so I bought five packs, but I got five packs of these mini marshmallows. Now, the good thing is, is that if I don't use them all for Thanksgiving, this is definitely the time of year where we drink a lot more hot cocoa, so these aren't gonna go to waste. I picked up some shortening. I like to have them like individually already like sectioned out. It just makes it easier for me. So I picked this up. And then I also picked up some light, light corn syrup. This is to make the pecan pie. I picked up two boxes of these family size Rice Krispies. I don't usually make the Rice Krispies, my sister does, but I just picked them up so she could just, you know, come on in and make them here some kisses. These are for peanut butter kiss cookies. I make them every single year. And then I got a 100% cranberry juice ocean spray bottle thingy back here. <laughs> that and this Sprite is to make our holiday punch. I do already have the apple, um, the sparkling cider. So that's all it is, is Sprite, cranberry juice, and um, what is that? Sparkling cider. And that's our holiday punch. At least that's what we call it. And I was missing two ingredients. So I picked those up. 
chopped pecans or chopped pecans. Now, I do have pecans in my pantry, but I don't think I have enough, so I did want to just make sure. So I just picked up a bag from Walmart, and the last thing I have from Walmart is a huge thing of pickles. I know we're not going to use all of that for Thanksgiving, but my kids absolutely love pickles and like tuna or chicken salad, so I know that won't go to waste either. But that is everything that I picked up from Safeway and from Walmart. So now let's take a look at what I picked up from Sprouts. Okay, so this is everything that I picked up from Sprouts. It is really dark out, sorry. Um, now, some of this, like here and here, is not exactly for Thanksgiving, but it I did pick it up at the time that I picked up all of this other produce, so I thought I'd share it with you. But before I jump into this little haul, I just wanted to mention that I am going to have to go back to the store once more to pick up fruit for our fruit salad because the fruit just wasn't looking too great today, and I didn't think that it would stay fresh until Thanksgiving. So I do have to make one more trip to the grocery store later this week, but I did put a little bit of money aside to cover that. I'm only saving about $25 to buy fruit for the fruit salad, but after that trip, it should be good and we should have everything. It's just the fruit wasn't looking too great today. So let's start on over here. Again, this isn't necessarily for Thanksgiving. It was just a really good price when I was there. These were about $4, just over $4 per pack. And I thought that was a great price for something that was already seasoned. Um, and it makes a really, really easy dinner. So this is a seasoned beef sirloin tri-tip roast. And again, I picked up four of these just because they were such a good price. I picked up some bananas just because we were running a little low on fruit and this was the only type of fruit that was looking good to me at the store other than a pomegranate that you'll see in just a moment. Now this isn't necessarily for us for Thanksgiving but this is for Indiana Jones or Indy our bearded dragon for Thanksgiving. I wanted to make him a special salad for Thanksgiving so I picked up his three favorite greens um, so we can make him a nice big salad um, on Thanksgiving day. So I picked up some mustard greens, some collard greens, and some dandelion greens and he does really really love his dandelion greens. So. Again, this is for the Bearded Dragon, for him to celebrate, to celebrate Thanksgiving. And then I picked up two onions, and here's that pomegranate I mentioned. My youngest daughter's really been wanting some pomegranate, so I picked her up one. And now this is a herbal turkey roasting kit. All this is is that it has three different herbs in it, and it was cheaper to buy these herbs in a pack like this than it was individually. So this has sage, rosemary, and thyme, and this is what I'm gonna use for my turkey. I picked up three, I want to say sweet potatoes. <laughs> um, I don't know the difference between a sweet potato and a yam. If you know the difference or if there even is one, let me know in the comments section because I do not know. But I picked up three sweet potatoes. I picked up some asparagus. Now we do grow our own asparagus in our backyard, but it is not the season to harvest them right now. So I did have to pick some up from the store. I picked up three gallons of milk. One of these is an organic low fat milk and two are whole milk. We use a lot of milk on Thanksgiving day because I will end up making Mexican hot chocolate or abuelita with this low fat milk. And then I'll use this whole milk for like baking, desserts, um, what I make my kids hot chocolate with on Thanksgiving. So we do use a ton of milk on Thanksgiving. And then I picked up some organic celery, two bunches of green onions, some organic carrots, and some potatoes. So that is everything that I picked up from Sprouts. I will add in our menu at the end of this video and I will pop up how much I spent at each store onto the screen and a final total overall on what I spent for Thanksgiving. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. I hope that you have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.